Hello and welcome back to Coach's Corner. I'm Kellen Gursky and sitting down with me this time is head baseball coach Tim Mulligan. How are we doing today, okay. coach? Good. Good. So let's let's talk about last year. Last year you guys finished 18 and 21 um, and right in the middle of the road of the PAC. What happened both good and bad for, for the team last season? Uh, good is, is we took a lot of big steps on getting better for this year. Mm -hmm. We were extremely young, uh, which you'll hear a lot of coaches say that, but we truly were. We had a lot of freshmen and sophomore mm -hmm. playing. Uh, we only graduated three starting seniors. Uh, we have one starting senior this year as a pitcher. The rest are mm -hmm. sophomore, freshman, junior. Um, big, the difference for, for me was the, the maturity level. Mm -hmm. You know, by, by halfway through last season, you can see the turn of the team focusing more, staying in the game longer. And we missed the playoffs by two games. You know, we're picked dead last. And we've right. been picked dead last almost every year. Right. And each year we get better and better. We cut the airs down. Uh, you know, extra, we had more uh, doubles and triples last year, more home runs. You know, they're learning how to play the game instead of just come in and play it. And staying on the topic of last season, you kind of touched on this. Um, senior catcher Jake Hobrick, first baseman John Jones, outfielder Duncan Watt, and third baseman Sean Coyne. Uh, they all got all pack honors, but the only problem is only one is returning. Um, so you know, how is losing those guys, uh, along with um, second baseman outfielder Jared Heck, how does that change what you're doing this season? Well, the, the change, there's really a whole not a lot of change because a lot of the core players that were actually are coming back, mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of important, like take yourself, you, I mean, you, you're right. a catcher. Yeah. You know, you can fill right in and, and compete. So we don't feel like we're losing much. Mm -hmm. We're actually gaining with the freshman class we have in now. We have 23 freshmen, and probably six or seven are going to see a lot of time to give you guys breaks. And you kind of just touched on this, but can you talk about um, some other players that are going to have to step up and have big years for you this year? Oh, Sean Coyne, Kyle uh, Borton, uh, yourself, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Ty Furlan, Nate McMasters. You know, the, the strong core that's there has got to step it up. They're juniors now. It takes two years to understand college-level baseball to get to the speed, the mentality between the years. We always talk about that mm -hmm. at practice. You know, you got to be smarter. Mm -hmm. So many kids come in learning how to play the game because they don't play it correctly in high school and in summer leagues. Right. They just go out and they play. Now it's a whole different level. And a, a lot of them come back and say, you know, I, I didn't know, I didn't know, mm -hmm. I didn't understand. So with you guys as a strong core, especially your junior class, you know, we're going to take that next step and get in the playoffs. All right, so you just mentioned uh, the freshmen, the big class. Can you touch on a couple of them uh, and talk about them in detail? Uh, Cody Akon, uh, tall, lanky pitcher, uh, velocity future. He'll probably up your upper 80s, 90 by time as a senior. Uh, great control. Sam Huckenberry, uh, you know, small stature, great movement on off speed, you know, uh, Zatel, Zelatel, or we call him Z. Mm -hmm. I can never pronounce his name, so uh, abbreviations are better for me. I'm old, so you got to give me a break. But, uh, you know, I'm coming in as a pitcher, as a middle relief. You know, we got some young guys stepping up. Uh, Hunter, Alexander, you know, behind the plate, help you out. Uh, they, they just can't uh, sit back and think what right. they're doing is okay. They really got to learn how to step it up and stay focused the whole game. All right, so um, where do you see this team? You mentioned the youth and, and everything else. Where do you see this team going this year? Uh, big surprise for a lot of our, comp uh, for our competition. Mm -hmm. You know, last year we got a lot of credit just fighting to the last inning. I mean, we were ahead of a lot of the games. Those little mistakes you make in baseball, you make three mistakes in baseball, you're going to lose the game. Mm -hmm. You know, basketball, football, other things, you can have a lot of penalties, give up yards, miss a lot of shots in the game, you still have a chance to win. Right. Baseball, you make three errors, you're done. Mm -hmm. So limit our late errors in the game will help us out this year, which is what I feel we're going to do with the talent we have. All right, so the Florida trip's coming up soon. Everyone's obviously excited about that. I know you are. Um, and then the New York Mets, the team that lost in the World Series this past year, plays uh, just a few uh, miles away from where you, know, mm -hmm. you guys stay at. So are you planning to, uh, on your day off, do anything with, with the Mets and the team? Well, we have relationships with, with some of the Mets people and players. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some of the guys I coach that are, are their bullpen catchers right now. So, you know, like rowing them guys. We'll try to get us in there to dug out. I'm trying to get everybody down to the, after their games so they can see and, make, and talk to the players, mm -hmm. see how they prepare. Um, but since our schedule changed this year, we play the day we get there. Right. We really fry. We're playing Saturday when we go down. Usually we had that Wednesday off, but uh, we're going to try to make it work. We'll try to do something for you. All right, so, Coach, thank you for joining me.